LBC, I'm Clive Bull and the Consumer Hour. More calls coming shortly to Dean Dunham on 0345 6060 973. Joining us to talk about your rights when it comes to nuisance calling is financial commentator Jasmine Bertels. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, hi. Thank you very much for coming in. So what are your rights when we talk about nuisance calls? Do we have rights? Yes, certainly you do, particularly if you're sensible enough to sign up to what's called TPS, the Telephone Preference service it's an entirely free service you can find it online uh, and it's very easy you put your name you know address mainly your phone number actually um, and you say i do not want to receive marketing calls if you do that then the legitimate marketing companies are told and if any of them call you uh, and you have signed up then you can complain to tps they then complain to the ico the information commission and uh, they they can be fined at for The trouble is these things still seem to get through. I know know, uh, I I get driven up the wall by them. Mm. Um, I mean, are they actually allowed to do that? Is is it legal for them to to ring you up? Well, with with many of them, no. I mean, quite a lot of the time you get rung up by, by... frankly, criminal organisations that are not based in this country. They're based goodness knows where around the, the world and, you know, it's terribly easy to do that. And I've seen figures, I know which uh, witch.co.uk has a, a lot of information on this and they did a survey last year and they found that the average household in Britain has 26 nuisance calls per month. Now, of course, some of these will be legitimate, many of them won't. And older people, and this is particularly concerning that older people get 36 per month. Um, in fact, the Information Commission said it got so bad last year, and it's still bad, they were getting a complaint every five minutes about this. So it, it, it really is a, a problem in this country, particularly with landlines. And of course, it's the older people who have the landlines, and they, they will keep it. A lot of younger people don't even bother with one, but they are specifically targeted with yeah. these landlines. And, uh, I mean, are there things that you should or shouldn't do when you get one of these nuisance calls i mean i i know people who deliberately chat to them and keep yes. them on the line or the, i mean what, what what are the do's and don'ts would you suggest well you know, certainly if you know what you're doing and to be honest i i do the same i mean occasionally i'll, I'll get a really dodgy calls from goodness knows where and i know it's not britain and and they i had one a uh, little while ago that said yeah we're from Go- global investments I said, oh, global investments and that's one that they, they'll come up with this generic sort of name mm. you know and i go oh really what's your company number he immediately put the phone down um, so, yes, if you know what you're doing, but generally speaking, I think that the best thing to do, frankly, is to put the phone down. Sometimes, um, if it's those uh, those automated ones, um, just pressing the, the hash and the star key lots of times, that can sort of stop it in, in its tracks. And if you do that enough times, I've found that those ones have, have sort of dribbled off. Um, or uh, another really good thing to do, uh, particularly if you have an older or, or vulnerable relative, and let's face it, there are a lot of people with with mental problems who can be uh, very open to these. Mm. Um, there are, you know, the, the main some of the the main telephone companies have a, a a blocking service now. It costs, but frankly, if if they are getting then if they're not hundred percent and they're getting these calls and they can be specifically targeted, it can be worth uh, paying the money each. Yeah, month. I mean, the thing is about these nuisance calls that. The, for some people they really do cause anxiety mm, don't they mm, absolutely and and this is part of the problem really because i mean there, there are the, the criminal ones for example they will call you up and say um oh we're phoning from windows um or, or they'll say they're phoning from from your your phone operator and uh, say oh there's there's a problem with your computer or there's a problem with your your phone you, you have to go onto your computer go to this website download blah 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 and and that basically mm. gets them it can into cause your computer. A, a lot of worry mm. for people it can. Uh, well, Jasmine, thank you very much indeed. Good thank to see you. you. Thanks for uh, all of that.